What's up y'all, Ron Kwok here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about my desk setup for 2022. Here on the channel we talk about everyday carry or gear that helps us get the job done in some shape or form. To that end, with the pandemic and work from home, many of us have had to convert our spare bedrooms or even their home offices into a full-blown workspace, myself included. Now I personally shoot, film, edit, and upload all of my videos right here from this home office. So there's been a thing or two I've integrated into my workflow that helps me up my productivity to get these videos done and out to you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, but first, what's in my pockets? <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so this is gonna be fun. In the left pocket, I've got my trusty extra parliament. But hanging out of my right pocket is my Orbikey key organizer. Still in the right pocket is the Spartaco Para 3. Oof, it's been a long time since I've done that flick. Oof, feels so good. Also in the right pocket is some lip balm. It's not a tube, it's a jar, but still gets the job done very nicely. Keeps your lips nice and supple. Finally, in the back pocket, I've got my Pixel 6 with the Moment M Force case. First things first purpose. What am I using this desk for? Well, for starters, I'm editing all my photos, editing my videos, uploading them onto YouTube, making sure that I've done my research on all my different types of gear. I do my browsing here. I do all my gaming here. I film at this desk a lot of the time, so it's got to be able to accommodate some gear. Hell, I even take apart my mechanical keyboard here and do maintenance, clean it up, put it back together right here on this desktop. So. I do a lot of things at this desk, so I need it to be multifaceted and I need it to be flexible enough so that I can tailor it to my activities on any given day. So with that in mind, this is the general workflow for my desktop. So I got a wide desk with a lot of depth. I want a lot of service area to do all the things that I'm doing. I've got my talking head angle here, so I've got a rig for my camera. Right here is my monitor setup, my dual monitor setup. Over here on the right is where my desktop calls home. Right here in front are my keyboard and number pad, of course, to do all the things. I've got a wide mouse pad, you know, for excelling in FPSs. Just kidding, I'm really bad at shooters. And speakers on either side. I have a corner over there that accommodates a lamp, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I've also got my EDC soft pad here where I keep, you know, a knife or two. It's kind of like my staging area for that one or two pieces of EDC that I'm currently dabbling with. So that's right there, right underneath the camera. Right here on the underside of this desk is a hook where I keep my headphones if I needed a little more privacy, if I'm doing some sound editing, or if it's game time and I need to get my shoot on, those headphones come right under and onto my head. Refreshing. In terms of lighting, I used to use a lamp from Ikea to get the job done. And while it served its purpose, the experience was kind of suboptimal. There was one light from the corner of the workspace, so it provided sort of an imbalanced light spread. There was only one temperature, only one brightness, so those were also limitations I had to deal with. I often found myself needing to grab another light source or even go into another room in order to get my reading done, kind of hamper the state of flow, if you will. So that's all changed. Because the good folks at BenQ sent me over a unit of their screen bar halo to test and review, and the results are extraordinary. I actually really love it I've been using it since the day I got it and it's my new lighting solution for sure the halo is a versatile LED monitor light that casts ample light across your entire workspace with a hundred levels of brightness color temperature and functionality to optimize your productivity now you might be thinking to yourself Ron if I'm gonna have a monitor light sitting on top of my monitor wouldn't there be a ton of light spillage a lot of glare on my monitor well, if you take a deeper dive into the Halo's design, in the compartment that the LEDs are recessed in, there is a cutoff that allows for light to shoot straight down and avoid your monitor altogether. It comes with a wireless controller so you can tap into all those different brightness and temperature settings. It's really intuitively designed, it's angled so that when you set it on their desktop, it's angled towards you, it's pitched towards you so you're not peering over and trying to see what the controls are saying at any given time. There's touch controls in the center and of course, a super tactile knob that turns with just enough resistance and it allows you to control the hundred levels of brightness and color temperature of the light as you see fit. So during the day, I like to use, you know, bright white daylight and as it gets darker outside, it's nighttime, I switch to an amber light 
so that way it, it eases strain on your eyes as well and kind of helps you get situated with nighttime work and then eventually going to sleep. It doesn't mess with your cycles that way. There's also a favorites button that allows you to access your favorite settings with one touch. Just dial in your brightness, your temperature, and set it to that button and you're all set. There's also a backlight component to the Halo. Now I don't have my desk set up against the wall, but you have this feature called bias lighting. So when you're in a dark environment and you have a TV screen or a monitor screen illuminated in front of you, it creates that high contrast. So over time, it'll kind of create strain on your eyes. So that's why this backlight comes into play with its bias lighting. It eases the strain on your eyes and it allows you to work smarter for longer. Not to mention super clean aesthetics. Gray all around, gunmetal gray finish on the light bar itself. It looks clean, light on or light off. And you don't really even notice it. There's no visible footprint on your desk, like a huge lamp on the corner or anything like that. It just follows that profile of the top of your monitor and it's real clean. All in all, the BenQ screen bar Halo has been an indispensable part of my desk setup since day one. And I can wholeheartedly recommend it for almost any desktop use case based off of the vast feature set and the super clean control interface alone. If you want to learn more, links are in the description below. I won't get into the details too much about the hardware because honestly that can be a whole separate video in and of itself. If you're interested in that, let me know below. But just real quickly, the desktop, I'm running a Ryzen 5900X CPU with the old GTX 1080. It's still a tank of workhorse getting all my rendering and uploading done. I've got two monitors here, one vertical, one horizontal, and the way I like to lay out my uh, apps, I always have them split screen. The main apps that I use are Google Calendar to take care of all my scheduling, see everything I have coming up at a glance. I've got my Notion, which keeps track of all of my notes, whether it's professional, YouTube, personal, finance, reminders, everything goes into the Notion. And finally, my main horizontal monitor, and that's just whatever I'm doing at the time. If I'm editing, it's Adobe Premiere Pro. If I'm playing games, it's whatever game I'm playing at the time. And if I'm doing research, everything goes on that main horizontal screen. So I'll let you in on a fun little tip. This thing always stays on my desk. This is a time cube. And basically the way it works is there's different numbers posted on each of the sides of the cube and they represent different time intervals. Let's say you wanna spend 20 minutes sitting down organizing your next banger of a YouTube video. So what do you do? You turn the cube face up so that the 20 points up. As soon as you do that, this LCD screen right here will start counting down from 20 minutes. That way you have a physical and tangible timer right there on your desktop, reminding you to get to work and to get in the flow. There's so many different ways that you can implement this. It's called the Pomodoro timer technique. So just look it up, watch your productivity flow. As far as sound goes, I've got two solutions, one headphone and one speaker. So my headphones are the Razer Black Shark version 2s. They're my go-to thing for editing, doing sound editing, um, for playing games. It has a built-in mic right here and it's really awesome sound so I really enjoy that. And it's wireless and it syncs really well to your desktop. My speakers, honestly, they're like 10 years old, but they're still legit. They're the Logitech Z623s. It's two main speakers and a subwoofer down there and it's awesome. <laughs> um, they honestly, it's like nothing crazy. It's not anything trendy or anything like city of the art, brand new. They've been around for a decade or more and I enjoy using the hell out of them. This is about something that's tried and true, a setup that works and it works for me. So if you're looking for some budget-ish speakers, you wanna go for like a set of $300 audio engines like everybody else up on here on YouTube, then uh, check those out. They're definitely good quality. <laughs> And that, my friends, is my desk setup for 2022. I really hope you enjoyed this one because I certainly did, giving you a broad overview and tour of what's on my desk, things I use, what I need them for, what kind of purpose and goal I'm trying to achieve with my desk experience. I know I didn't get into the nitty gritty details of the hardware and equipment, so if that's something you wanna see, you wanna know what kind of monitors I use, keyboard, mouse, other peripherals, how I set my desktop up, let me know, and that can be an entirely separate video. So sound off in the comments below, all right? Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Live with purpose. Peace. Editing my videos, I'm publishing them. I don't. There are different profiles you can set so that you can. Oh, I can't get this. I don't know why. Good outro, Jake. Jesus.